Okay, so the last thing we have to cover is um, configuration settings, and there's a lot of stuff to deal with with those. Um, so first thing you might notice is that my color scheme looks a little different than yours. That's because I use a slightly different one. Also, um, Sublime Text itself looks a little different. That's because I use a slightly different theme. Uh, you can look up how to do those. They're not super important because it's all cosmetic. So uh, a quick run over of the uh, settings. Let me... Blech. Okay. Um, so you have color schemes. You have... Uh, font face, which is you can change this to like Arial if you wanted to, and font size. Uh, currently it's significantly bigger than uh, 10, but if I should eventually... Oh, it's in a user. If you'll notice, they're 18, they're 19, 18, so it'll switch that for me. Uh, font options, ignore these. Word separators, ignore these. Line numbers makes these appear. Gutter makes this whole thing appear. Margin is this distance, um, default. Uh, fold buttons are these things right there. That, uh, I don't really care about them, but I occasionally use them. Fade fold buttons is what mine do now. They disappear when you don't want to look at them. Rulers are those things. I'll come back to those in a minute. Spell check, I currently have it turned off. Uh, you can turn it on. Tab size means when you hit tab, it goes four spaces in, generally, normally. Uh, there's some other stuff that supersedes that. Translate tabs to spaces. This is one of the one things in your user settings which uh, supersede the yeah. default settings. Uh, excuse me. Um, Where is everyone? You want to, so, you want to set translate tabs to spaces what? to true. It just makes life easier. Uh, use tab stops are basically, if I hit tab here, it goes out to the next position, and oh. even if I hit two spaces, it'll do the same thing instead of popping in all yeah. the way, which is nice for well-formatted code. Uh, detect yeah, indentation like means that if this file, for example, has three space tabs, I don't actually know why. It's a bad day for me. Um, Just get on, get on, get on, get on. Sorry, my roommate's talking about um, And so... Um, that supersedes the default. Uh, auto indent means that, like, when I hit enter, well, when I hit enter, it's automatically indented to where I want to be, which is nice. Uh, smart indent, same thing. Uh, basically, if you hit enter here and then you open a new line, it'll indent you further in, which is, once again, a nice thing. Um, Let's see here. Indent to bracket. I'm not actually sure what that does. Trim automatic white space. Um, means, like, so if I'm here, if I do to do, do and then move away. Eh, no. Okay. So if I make a new line from here. Yeah, that's what it is. If I make a new line from here, it's indented here. If I then move away and come back, I then move away and come back, it should. That should disappear. I'm not sure why it didn't actually. Yeah, so now it's gone in that line. And I didn't do that, it just does that automatically. Word wrap, uh, things will wrap when the lines get too long. I think I have that set to false, or I have it set to like, some distance. Um, wrap width sets it to a distance. Uh, this, I for, oh, this sets word wrap lines to be pushed out. I, have, I don't know why you'd ever want to draw all your text centered in code, it's disgusting looking. Uh, Auto match enabled means that when I type that, I get two quotes instead of one, which is nice. Uh, dictionary controls the autocomplete and spell check dictionaries, I believe. Uh, draw mini map border. This thing, you can see it here. See how that's moving? That's what that is. Highlight the current line, lets you see what line you're on. Uh, carrot style, there are four different ones. This is smooth. Fa uh, blink is that box right there, basically, but blinking and solid is just that box. Uh, you can make the carrot bigger. You can uh, match brackets, means when I do a bracket of any kind, I get the other one. Um, sorry, that's not what it does. It uh, When I click on a bracket, I get the other one highlighted. So, do and do. 
Um, if I click inside the brackets, I also get that. That's what the next one is. Um, this also works for square brackets and angle brackets. Uh, these things come from the bracket highlighter package that I talked about. That's why I like it. Um, match tags is HTML related stuff. Don't really care about that. Uh, don't really care about these things. Drawn dent guides are these little dotted lines that I like. They make things easier to read. Um, save on focus lost means that if I'm working here and I go over here, that file gets automatically saved. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, up to you. Tab completion is essentially one thing that I have done. Basically, um, what this means is that normally you can do... Uh, let's see here. Like, if you want something, you can do enter, and it'll go in. I don't have that. I have to hit tab, and that's just nicer, um, in my opinion. Uh, it means that if I'm at the end of a line and say I do, like in Python, this isn't an issue in Java because you have semicolons, but if I'm in Python and I say like x equals frame plus set visible, or fr plus set, right? Then I want to go to the next line. If I had this set to enter, it would make it set visible, and I don't want that. I just want set. So that's why I have that done. Um, let's see here. Autocomplete delay is how long it takes before the autocomplete panel shows up. Uh, this is I believe uh, this is when autocomplete is used, like where. Um, let's see here. Autocomplete commit on tab is uh, the other thing I have set. Um, basically, that's not enter. That's on tab. Um, autocomplete with fields, no clue. Auto close tags is HTML stuff. Shift tab on indent means that instead of that shift tab will bring you back. Um, I believe I have that set to true in my... No, I don't. Okay. Hmm. Um. Ah. So shift tab has to do with autocompletion. Um, find selected text means if I highlight the word, actually if I highlight, let's see here, JFrame, it'll highlight all other occurrences of JFrame. That's what that does. Um, drag text lets you do that. Um, this lets you control your speed. Scroll speed is how fast you scroll. Um, tree animation deals with sidebar related stuff. Highlight modified tabs means when you change stuff in a tab, notice that these have X's and this current one has a dot. That's uh, when you know you've changed something. Bold folder labels is sidebar stuff. Use simple full screen, I don't really care about da 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 da. Um, hot exit means if you just close, it saves everything in an, a uh, temporary file, and when you come back, everything will be as you left it, uh, which is nice. Uh, all of these things, I don't even know what they do. I don't really care about them. And then enable telemetry is basically, do you want information about you to be sent back to uh, the Sublime Text people, anonymized information? So my settings are... Um, Oh, um, are essentially, I always want to show the viewport. I want to autocomplete on tab, not enter. I use this color scheme. Uh, I don't want anonymized information. My font size is actually normally, I think, 11. I ignore the vintage package, which is the normal color scheme, and I always translate tabs to spaces. Um, you can, I like this one. Other people might like different ones. I don't know. Um, I have mine uploaded so you can look at it. Um, the other thing is, if you click down here on JSON, you'll get this giant list of things. Uh, these are different uh, programming syntaxes. If I click over here, you'll notice it changes to Java, because this is a Java file and this is a JSON file. Even though it says it's .sublime settings, it's really just JSON, which is a format of uh, representing information. So, uh, let's go away from this for a second. If you go up to here to Preferences, and you choose settings more, you get syntax specific. And json.sublime settings has nothing, but java.sublime settings has something. And you'll notice that over here I have this ruler, and it's at the 80th character, which I will mention, you know, as an aside, is really useful if you don't want to have errors relating to 
having more than 80 characters in your check style and having to go back and fix that line by line. So that's kind of nice. Um, and I only have it in Java because, you know, when I'm coding in HTML or Python, I don't care about that. Um, so, yeah, that's also up there. Uh, the other things, uh, so, right, like you can open the cool little REPL thing and let me zoom out some because, God, this is actually awful. Um, come over here, this is where I normally have it zoomed. Hopefully you can see this, but like, That may not work. Be okay. Good. Um, oh, whatever. So uh, that like this is how it works. Um, if you're running it from the, sh I don't actually have the JDK installed on, installed on this computer, so I can't show you a Java example of like running, say my. Uh, family counter file or whatever, but um, that's what you can do from here. Let's see here, tab related stuff. Um, so alt, so let's say I'm over here, alt, alt and then a number switches between tabs, control switches between tab families, so I'm, my cursor is blinking over here, control one, now it's blinking over here, alt two. Alt-Shift-1 brings everything back to a single panel. Alt-Shift-2 brings it back to split. Alt-Shift-3 is three columns. Alt-Shift-4 is four. Alt-Shift-5 is this four panel layout. Six, seven, doesn't do anything. Eight is two, three, and then zero doesn't do anything. Uh, so nine is three, eight is two vertical. I normally work in two. I'll occasionally work in three and sometimes in this, but it's generally two. Um, Let's see here, you don't actually want to look at that. Okay, um, what else? Anything else important? I don't think there is. So, when you're using, like, stuff from the command palette, um, this is the only one thing. Like, you can do fun things. So if I create a uh, new temp.java file. Why do I already have a temp.java? Control open temp.java. What was this? This was something from class, I don't even know. Okay, so if I delete this and I do control P, so javatar, so this is why this is cool. Uh, create class. Um, temp. Why did that not work? Avatar create class temp. Don't know why this isn't working. Um, so let's just ignore that. But um. So, like, the other nice thing is you can do, uh, this is what Javatar is useful for, is if I do, yeah, dot m, so java dot math dot, so let me try this, jm, no, java dot math tab dot, okay, java dot math dot, I don't know why that's not working. This isn't working. Whatever. So some things are being read on my computer. Now I don't really want to save this blank file. Um, uh, da, 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 Anything else of great importance? I don't think so. So yeah.